guest is one of the fastest rising stars in Hollywood. Like, whew. she was recently a regular on the CBS series Wizards and Warriors and is soon to be seen in a movie that has just been released, if you haven't seen it yet. It's called The Man with Two Brains, and it stars Steve Martin, and his co-star is Randy Brooks, who is with us. The film, as we said, has just been released mm -hmm. and doing well, and you've had one heck of a fast year, haven't you? Yeah. It's what, been tell us skyrocket. Quickly, a one-page resume of your last year. Uh, the first thing that I did was Man with Two Brains, which just opened, and then from that, Warner Brothers, which was the studio that produced it, uh, put me under contract. And then I did Wizards and Warriors, which you said. We ran for eight weeks and unfortunately were canceled. And then I did um, guest starring episodes on things like Deuce of Hazard. Did you say fortunately we were canceled? Unfortunately. Oh, unfortunately. <laughs> no, it was too much fun to do. We really enjoyed the show, but um, it had a real sort of black sense of humor that a lot of people didn't understand. Mm -hmm. So um, then I did two movie of the weeks, Murder Me, Murder You, and Return from the Man of Uncle. And I just did a pilot for Gary Marshall called Herndon and Me, which hopefully will be a mid-season replacement. Gary Marshall, of course, is the executive producer of, uh, or the producer of Happy Days and right, Laverne the and Shirley couple. and all those shows. Right, so, so he's, he's got, got a really pretty good good, Yeah, so hopefully this show, which stars who with you? Um, Michael Richards and um, Ted McGinley. And okay. they're the two top bananas, and then... Ted is from Happy, Happy Days. Happy Days, right. right. And Michael is from a show called Fridays. Oh, yeah. The comedy So, show. right. And mm. great comedian, wonderful sense of timing, and just a real physical person with his, with uh, his comedy. So what is the show? So. What's the storyline or the plot of the show? Um, well, Michael plays Herndon, and he's sort of a computer genius who's a real klutz at everything that he does. So everything he touches, he, he breaks apart and falls. And Ted McGinley is his sidekick, who is voted the most likely to succeed in his high school and everything else, and turned out to be a real putz at life. Uh. Everything he's done has been wrong. He's had three divorces and... All sorts of nasty Were you always beautiful? Him. Were you always all through school and everything, like the hit no. of the school? No. When I was young, I used to weigh 160 pounds and was just real massive. And it all just uh, happened to move to the right places. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got a little... Actually, I, I was um, anorexic. Were you? Which, really? Yeah. So you went from 160 to anorexic? Yeah. Actually, I got down to 98 pounds. God. So take off another 30 pounds of me, and that's how thin I'm I was. Getting, I'm getting overwhelmed by the fact we just had somebody on the show yesterday that was anorexic. Yeah. And, the same, and she, like you, has made a, a comeback from it. Yeah, it's, it's a real strange thing to go through, and, and it's real strange to talk about it because people don't understand it quite. Yeah. So, and it's but this, well, this apparently is your year. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the, the Steve Martin movie. Oh, God. It's... Steve Martin's humor is real sort of bizarre to begin with. You have to really like it. It's, it's real blunt and out there. And he plays a brain surgeon who has come up with a new technique, and he screws on brains. I mean, after he, after like, he does the, like the technique. Like brains, you know? <laughs> well, what he does is he sort of cuts a hole in your head and screws off the top of your brain and works on it and then just screws it back on, and that's his new technique. And um, he meets Kathleen Turner, who ends up being his wife because he runs over her accidentally and then has to do brain surgery on her. They fall in love and they get married, and it just so happens that she goes to bed with everybody but him, the butler, the, the chauffeur, everybody, and they've been married for six weeks, and the most that he's gotten out of her is to have his fingers sucked as he walks around the room. So he's getting a little frustrated and a little bit out of shape. So he goes to Vienna for a, a conference and meets another brain surgeon who has all these brains in a jar, and one of them talks to him through telepathy, and he falls in love with her. And she's just the sweetest little brain in the whole world. I mean, just a doll. And he carts this little brain around in this little jar, and, and he goes so far as to put little fake lips on it so he could kiss her and all this real sort of strange sense of humor. And he realizes that he has to find the perfect body. Are you, are you his wife? So, no, I'm the body that he decides to put the brain into. Smart guy, that's so, Steve Martin. He decides that if he's going to find the perfect body to put this real sweet brain in, then he'll have a, a great wife because he's divorcing Kathleen Turner. And he said, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, she plays a really wicked woman. And um, I'm such a dumb character, and I talk with such a nasally, obnoxious voice that he decides that he doesn't have the heart to kill me. And it turns out that his... How do you, how do you sound? Do I sort of bit. talk real weird. It's sort of an aggravating voice, you know? And he decides that I look okay, but if he puts the brain inside my body, I'd probably end up talking like this a lot. You know, so he's a, a little panicked about that, so he doesn't kill me. Did you have the audition in front of him? Yes, yeah. And his and Carl partner, Reiner. really, Carl Reiner. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, that was uh, frightening because this is really um, the first thing that I've, I've done. I did a movie called Looker about three years ago and was so depressed with the way it turned out after it was cut together and, and it was so poorly done that I thought, I don't ever want to act again. So I didn't for three years. I went back to modeling. And then um, when they were casting Man with Two Brains, they went through all the different um, agencies and couldn't find anybody that they wanted and started going through modeling agencies. And I got the call and went to go read. And the casting lady sort of adopted me, Marion Doherty, who's the That's grandmother nice. of all casting people. Yeah. And took me under her wing, and that was it. It's great. Yeah. Now, your boyfriend, Tom Wopat, yeah. from Dukes of Hazard. See, so all you guys, sorry. Some <laughs> breaks. What are you going to do? Uh -oh. I'm sitting next to her. Oh, come I've, on. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you, you met on the set of the Dukes of Hazzard. Mm-hmm. Which is like love at first sight. Yeah, it was. You drove off in that little orange car. <laughs> Actually, I never got to sit in a General Lee. No, you never did? No, I, I rode around in limousines in their show. I played a real dastardly woman who came to destroy their town. Mm. So, and I, I had never watched the show before I did it, which is a terrible thing to say, but it just, I didn't think it was something that I'd be that interested in. And um, they had asked me, Warner Brothers had asked me to read for it about six months before that. And I thought, no, the ratings aren't doing that well. That's when Tom and John were gone, and I didn't think it would be that good for my career. And then as soon as they returned, Warner Brothers asked me to come back on. And I thought, well, the ratings will go up because they've returned, and it, it would be a good thing for me. Yeah. And that's how we met. And then Just, love at first sight, yeah. and now here you are today. Wedding plans in the future? Oh, I don't want to say anything about that. It always uh, jinxes things, so I kind of keep my mouth shut about that. When you've got a, a, a star like Tom and a star like you, immediately all the, uh, you know, the papers in the supermarket, all of a sudden your picture's all over the front of the thing and they're yeah. saying this about you and saying that about you. How do you deal with that? Well, so far they've been really nice to us because um, we've done interviews with them. Rather than just let them write what they wanted to and create stories that weren't necessarily true, um, they came to us and said, well, we're going to write something about you, so you can either talk to us and, and give us the story, or we can write whatever we feel. So we decided that it would probably be better to talk to them. Is that how they do that? I mean, they, they come out, they'll, they'll well, give that's you a choice. They, they'll give you a choice. They'll <clears> say, we're either going to... That's what they did with us. Yeah. So we decided we'd sit down and talk to them, and then it was sort of nauseating because we talked to them on the phone and we gave them a story, and all of a sudden, when we read it, it was one of those things where it was so embarrassing and so sickeningly romantic and just... Uh, have they done a commercial yet on TV where they have your head and his head back around? <laughs> <laughs> no, they haven't made us into those little dolls yet that sort of bounce around, no. We've been real fortunate so far. <laughs> I think that'd be funny to see, though. Oh, thank you. I mean, yeah, just for the heck of it. <laughs> you know? You're going to do a poster? Yeah, hopefully. I just shot with Dick Zimmerman um, last, I guess, two weeks ago now. We shot for some European covers over there because of the, the release of Man With Two Brains, and, and I guess it's doing real well over there. It's already been released, and um, so we shot some magazine covers, and from that we shot some posters that will hopefully come out in a month or two. Yeah. Have you been approached yet to do anything else, like uh, Playboy or anything like that? No. Playboy was my modeling agency for a mm -hmm. number of years, so I was already affiliated with them and did a pictorial called California Blondes mm -hmm. that was out last year. So, mm -hmm. and. Um, I had tested for Centerfold and was finally accepted last year, but it was just at the time that I started to film Man With Two Brains. And my new agent said, well, we really don't think that it's beneficial for you to do that, you yeah. know, because people just think of you as a body instead of a, a person. So now that things are going in this direction, it's better not to do that. Yeah. 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 So. So, but you went out and actually did some test shots. Mm-hmm. Which I'm sure... If my career continues to go, they'll publish anyway because they always have I rights was, on yeah, those things. Yeah, they did that so, to Suzanne Summers yeah. a couple of years ago. They yeah, I wrote them a letter it. and asked them if I could have the pictures back. And they wrote me a real nice letter that said, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just that one word, no, exclamation point. And I went, great, it'll show up someday. Okay, so. well, we'll look for the poster. Thanks, I'd rather have you look for that. Okay, thank you, Randy. Can you stay You're with welcome. us for a little sure. bit? Sure, I'd love We're to. We're going to be back with Malcolm Boyce. <laughs>